Hi viewers, welcome to Lantensia Hub channel once again. Today, on our episode, we are going to look at practical nursing videos or practical nursing tasks to be precise. We are going to see how some of the practical nursing tasks is being done and when asked in our exams how to go about it. I'll urge you to just sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. On your screen, you can see the requirements needed to check vital signs using the non-digital thermometer and the sphygmanometer. You can see we have three gallipots, one containing the cold water in which we immerse the thermometer, one containing cotton wool swabs used to clean the thermometer, and one which is empty, that will be your receiver. You could also see you have a breast watch, you have a stethoscope, you have your sphygmanometer, you have a hand sanitizer in a bottle, you have your non-digital thermometer, and you have some stationaries like your pens, your pencils, and a ruler. You can also see there are some three sheets lined to the right, where you have your four hourly charts, which you chart your vital signs, or you plot your vital signs values on. You have your nurse's notes, where you write in details what you did for the patient, and you have an extra plain sheet for recording of the values. These are the requirements needed to check vital signs, which is a tray procedure. Next is provide privacy for your patient. Providing privacy to your patient in nursing care proves to your patient how well you respect your patient and also maintain the dignity of the patient. Therefore, it is very vital to provide privacy to the patient using a screen around the patient's environment. Next is to perform hand hygiene using soap and under running water. Your hand may transfer some microorganisms to your hand. And so the aseptic technique of hand washing is observed. It's advisable to use the elbow to close the tap as using your hand to close the tap back the spread of infection from the patient to the nurse or vice versa. After washing your hands, and making sure your items are set. The first thing to do is to explain procedure to your patient. Planation of the procedure, you tell the patient into details what you are going to do to him or her, how the task is going to be performed, and if possible, mention certain instrument or equipment that is going to be used to perform the procedure. Answer all questions that patient will ask in simple and clear terms and also seek the consent of the patient as to whether the patient accepts to undergo the procedure or not. Cases where patients reject or object the responsibility of the nurse to explain more into details for the patient in order to gain the patient cooperation. And so explanation of the procedure to the patient is very key in performing any nursing task. After explaining the procedure to the patient, the nurse then moves the items to the patient's bedside. At the bedside, the nurse briefly reminds the patient of the previous information given. The nurse ensures that the patient's side or vicinity is safe for the task to be done. That is by lowering the side rails to have easy access to the patient. The nurse finds out from the patient if his position is okay or it needs to be elevated. The patient then agrees for the bed to be propped up a bit to ensure comfortability. The nurse then gently exposes the area to be used for the tax, that is the arm. With all this being done, the nurse removes the thermometer and inserts the bulb of the thermometer into your cold water in one of the gallipots. Waiting for some few seconds, the nurse removes the thermometer and cleans from bulb to stem and discards the cotton. The nurse reads the temperature at eye level ensuring it is at 35 degree or below. When it's not at 35 degree or below, the nurse gently shakes the thermometer to ensure that. After doing that, the nurse gently cleans the armpits of the patient with dry cotton and gently inserts the thermometer in between the skin folds. While the thermometer is in situ, the nurse looks at his breast watch times and begin to check the patient's pulse. The nurse times 
for one minute to check the patient's pulse. After checking for the patient's pulse, the nurse proceeds to monitor the patient's respiration also for one minute. The nurse then waits for one minute to check the pulse and another minute to check the respiration. Interestingly, in checking vital signs for a patient, when the nurse is done checking the pulse, the nurse does not take off the hand from the patient's radial region. Your hand still remains on the patient's hand whilst you check for the respiration. This is to ensure that the patient's respiratory reading is not altered. As when the patient realizes that the nurse is looking directly onto his chest, he or she may try to breathe well or alter his or her breathing pattern. That is why the hands still stays there even though you are done checking the pulse and you continue to check for the respiration. After checking for the pulse and respiration, the nurse then records the reading of the pulse and the respiration. After the recording, the nurse then takes out the thermometer from the patient's armpit, cleans from stem to bulb with a dry cotton and discard. The nurse then reads the reading of the temperature at eye level and places the thermometer back into its pot. Performs hand hygiene using the alcohol wrap. If today happens to be your first time joining us on this channel, don't forget to hit on the subscription button, like, and also share, so that anytime we release any interesting videos, you won't miss any. And then records temperature. After recording the temperature, nurse then picks up the sphygmomanometer, stretches the patient's arm into a desirable position, ensures that there is no air inside the calf and gently winds the calf around the patient's arm, especially at the upper portion of the arm, higher than the elbow. After winding the calf around the patient's arm, the nurse places two fingers in the arm to ensure that the calf is not too tight on the patient. The nurse then palpates the radial pulse and inflates the calf gently. The nurse stops inflating the calf as soon as the nurse cannot feel the patient's radial pulse again. The nurse wears the stethoscope and checks if the stethoscope is open and gently places the stethoscope at the antecubital region of the patient and opens the valve gently, listens and observes the movement of the mercury as well. After checking and getting the right reading, the nurse removes the stethoscope from the ears Gently remove the calf from the patient's arm. Ensure there is no air left in the calf and assembles the calf and the BP apparatus gently and nicely. Again, don't forget to hit on the subscription button if it's the first time you are joining us. The nurse then records the reading of the blood pressure, position the patient's arm gently, ensure the patient is in a desired position, and briefly explain the findings of the procedure to patients, i.e. telling patients the findings of the procedure such as the temperatures reading, the pulse reading, the blood pressure reading. Again, don't forget to hit on the subscription button if it's the first time you are joining us and answer any questions that patients might ask for understanding using clear and simple 
term. With this being said, a patient satisfied with the procedure, next then finds out if the patient would like to be in that required position or go back to the original position he or she was. The nurse then thanks the patient, removes the tray or items used for the procedure, Hello viewers, this comes to the end of today's episode and you enjoyed the content. If today happens to be the first time you are following us on this channel, don't forget to hit on the subscription button or the bell icon there so that you'll be notified anytime we release a new content. Thank you and see you on another episode.